Hello everyone, this is Ramiz Abzar back um, from Nozine and today we are continuing our complete web developer course and today we are going to make a form and we are going to add data from that form into our database. So without any ado, let's get started. First of all, let's have a look on what we made last time. You gotta run your um, local server, which in my case is Zam. Start it. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so this is what we made last time. This is the front UI, and in the back we made um, um, localhost php my admin and localhost study and connection application. So last time we made this file named as um, connection.php where we connected our databases um, with the site let's just make sure it is connected um, connection was made let's refresh it so it says connection was made um, if you don't know how we did that um, I've just given the link in the um, description right below the like button you can just check it and it's pretty simple and easy. Okay, so we've got our connection done. So this is what we made last time, and this is what we made before that. And we have our database name of study and this table of data. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna um, add our uh, stuff into this table called data, which is empty right now. We have nothing in it. So without any ado, let's get started. First of all, you're gonna go to um, C exam and your htdocs and your folder. Then you're gonna open any of your text editor. For me, it's C++ always. And I'm gonna make a new file and save it as uh, save it as let's say create create.php make sure the save type is all files and save okay so first of all I'm going to go to the basic structure of mine basic structure I really follow So in the head, let's say um, create members. Okay, save it. And just go in here, localhost study create HP, and there you go. It's working. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in the body and I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna start with form, form action is equal to create.php. Action is that whenever this form is um, executed, where it will respond to. So it will respond back to this page because we are gonna add the uh, um, PHP data, how it will work in this right in this page okay so form action and we're going to use method there are two methods one is post another is get um, get method is not secure if you want to pass the secure data you got to use the post method okay so now let's get in um, first of all let's say email on name input 
in name, name be name, first name, and input type is gonna be text. Then email, I'm gonna say input type is equal to text again or email. Maybe type's gonna be email, so it checks that if it's email or not. And I'm gonna name it as email, which means user email. Um, and let's just add one more, let's say password. So you're gonna see all the three types. And this one's gonna be password. And we're gonna name it as pass. Alright? Now I'm gonna say input type is equal to submit, which is a button. Um, its name gonna be sorry, name gonna be submit, and the value value is what will be written on this button, and that will be create. Uh, Save it. Refresh it, and there we go. We have our name field, our email field, and our password. So we're good. Uh, okay. So uh, one more thing you can do is, if you want all of these values to be filled, you can just add required at the end. Let's say I require all of these. So I'm just going to require, save, and refresh. So it'll say, please fill out all these forms. Okay. Um, okay, so this is um, our basic form. Now we're going to go back to the top right after HTML, as I prefer. Um, Let's start in PHP tab and close the PHP tab. Um, and then you gotta include the connection dot PHP. Um, this is actually we are um, including this code into this file we made this file so that we don't have to write this code again and again to connect databases that's why we just given it an include portion that means this code is included right in here so let's close that okay now we're gonna make um, three variables as we have um, three of our input fields uh, let's just check one more thing in the we have yes name email and contact so we're gonna change this to contact this in case contact text and you can okay now we have three input fields so we're gonna make three variables I'm gonna say first one be um, user name which is gonna be equal to something which we'll discuss by in a minute. Um, other one is gonna be user email, which is gonna be something again. Uh, and there is this second user contact, and this is it. Okay, so these these are the three variables you make variables in PHP, um, like you make in C++, or like you make um, in HTML. HTML, I'm sorry for that. Um, HTML don't have variables to be uh, precise. Um, HTML has IDs. So um, as there are IDs, um, similarly there are variables in uh, PHP these variables can store data of a specific thing like IDs can 
um, refer to a specific content. Similarly, these variables can refer to a specific content. Um, so okay for that, I'm gonna say dollar underscore post, which means that this username variable refers to f name. Okay. Similarly, post. This refers to email. And this refers to Yukon. Okay, so we're done with this. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to make a check that if this thing happens, then what to do next. Um, for that, I'm going to say if if is not post. Submit, which means if the submit button is not posted, it's gonna say all fields are required. That's not dollar in the uh, So this says if submit button is not posted. Um, if that if everything is not submitted, it's gonna say all fields are required. But else, if it's posted, it's gonna say. Oh, just give me a second. Okay. Um, and if it's done, if everything is posted, um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna write an SQL query. So we're gonna write this SQL. Query. I'm gonna just make new variable named as SQL. I'm gonna say insert into data. Uh, this is um, data is our table, and this is the SQL query. So insert into data, and then we're gonna add the fields of data. Oh, I guess it's. it's Values. Okay, so insert into data. Data in uh, uh, in data we have name, email, and contact. As ID is auto incremented, um, auto incremented. So we're gonna add name, email, and contact. So add into data name, email, contact, and value is gonna be. Well, it's going to be these variables user name, user email, and user contact. Okay, and now we're going to just give it a check if it's working or not. We're going to say um, if my SQLI underscore con the variable con means the connection and the variable SQL once then what it's gonna do is it's gonna say data creation successful and if it it fails, it's going to say something went wrong. Find it. Save it and let's refresh this page. Okay. So, syntax error unexpected this. Oh. I'm sorry, on line 13, this is a semicolon, not a colon. Okay. <sighs> Unexpected echo on line 20. Let's check what's wrong. Um, I guess this is what it needs. Okay. So, um, 
it's it's working fine now it says that undefined index f name index uh, undefined index u mail or u con because there are no values inserted yet and all fields are required so um, I'm just gonna clear all of these because I don't want the user to look at these errors because they are occurring as I have not inputted a value in there uh, let's just um, insert some value and after that I, I will just show you how to remove all of this let's start with these gmail.com context can be create and it says data creation successful let's go into our okay so we have the value in here id is one means the whole and you can see the error is gone because we inputted the value so we d we don't want user to see um uh, we just don't want you to see all of this so that's why we are gonna go in the code and we're gonna say error underscore reporting and this is gonna be zero so there we go refresh the page and our error is gone see id is auto incremented so that's how you make it. We can add CSS to it. Uh, just the normal way, nothing new. So that was it for today. And I'll see you in the next video. Like, share, and subscribe.